Hi everyone, Anshita Desai. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a roadmap to become a software tester in 2025. So, based on my experience into QA profile with more than eight organizations, I have created this detailed mind map that outlines all the skills which are required to become a software tester. So, in case if you are someone who is planning to switch career to a QA profile, then this video is definitely for you. I have created this mind map in which I have divided it into two sections. One is this right side section, which is a must have or the core skills, and the left side is should have skills. So let's get started. First and foremost, the essential skills are often overlooked, but these are very critical for testers. So the first one is the analytical thing. As a tester, you need to think critically and analyze the application from the multiple perspective. For example, if you're testing a login page, you don't just need to test the happy path. You also need to think about some invalid inputs or some edge cases. So just think about all the possible issues and the scenarios which user might face. Fine. Now moving on to the next skill which is required is attention to the detail. So small mistakes can cause big problem. For example, imagine a banking application which allows a negative balance. So before the user see it, as a tester, you should. Focus on this small attention to the detail and try to catch all these bugs before it is deployed to the production. Now, coming to the next skill, which is curiosity and the communication. So, ask questions like, "What happens if I input a special character? Will the app crash?" So, being curious will definitely help you find the unexpected bugs. Always ask questions like, "Why this is happening? What will happen if I do this?" So, this will help you to understand your product better and to test it in a Far away. Now moving on to the next topic, which is testing fundamentals. So this is again very important. In testing fundamentals, you need to start with a different type of testing. What are the different type of testing? Like what is unit testing? What is integration testing? And different testing terms like what is regression testing? What is smoke testing? What is sanity testing? When do we do regression testing? When do we do smoke testing? So you need to understand all the different type of testing, and not just by the definition. You need to understand when to apply the testing type. So learn about different type of testing and where to use it, when to use it. This is very much important. Now moving on to the next topic, which is STLC. So STLC means Software Testing Lifecycle. So this is your guide to the testing process. It includes many phases. So you need to understand all the different phases of the testing. So the first phase is requirement analysis. Then we have test planning, in which you do. The entry criteria, the exit criteria, how many resources would be required, what are the tools which will be required, if automation is required or not. So all these things you handle in the test planning. Then there is test case writing, test case execution. Then the next phase is bug reporting, and the final phase is the test closure. So you need to understand what is STLC. STLC is typically for the software testing lifecycle. Now moving on to the next topic, which is Bug life cycle. So you need to understand how to raise bugs, when to assign it to a developer, when to start retesting the different phases a bug goes through, till how to raise it in the proper tool like Jira. Learn about it. This is very important. You need to understand what is bug life cycle and what are the different stages involved in the bug life cycle. Now moving on to the next skill, which is API testing, which is again very very important because this is where your backend logic resides. So this is backbone of any application. So you need to understand how to do API testing. There are many tools in the market like Postman using which you can do API testing. And what are the different things you consider while doing API testing? What are the different headers? What is path parameter? What is query parameter? What are the different response codes? And for the API test, you need to have knowledge about different HTTP methods like get, post, put, patch, delete. So these are also often asked in the interviews. What is the difference between post and put? What is the difference between put and patch? You need to have knowledge about all the HTTP methods. And then coming to the tools or libraries or the frameworks which are available to test API, one of the very famous is the Postman. If you want to automate it, you can use Rest Assured. Now moving on to the next topic, mobile testing. So you need to learn about it, how to do mobile testing, what what are the different things to consider when you're doing mobile testing, different OS versions. You need to check. You need to test it on Android or you need to test it on iOS. Now moving on to the next skill, which is performance testing, which is again very important. There are events like Black Friday sale in which you need to test for a heavy load. In such kind of scenarios, the application is expecting a huge load of users, and in order to be sure, we need to test it with a heavy load. Also, for example, if there is a Black Friday sale 
and normally you are expecting 100 users for your application but in case of event like black friday sale maybe you are expecting 1000 users so you need to properly test it if your application is actually scalable for that kind of load or not so what if your application crashes if 1000 users try to access it at the same time so being a tester we also need need to do performance testing next one is the security testing again this is very important for any organization for example for any payment related api all the details are not visible in the response body it should be masked properly so that the end user cannot see details of that card fine so these things we really need to understand as a qa these are some important and the core skills which as a qa you should have now moving on to the next important thing is which is agile so agile is software development methodology which focus on the flexibility collaboration and customer focus to deliver your software in the small small sprints in agile you can learn about different sprint ceremonies what is sprint what is sprint grooming what is sprint retrospective what is daily stand up what is sprint planning what is sprint review you can also learn about different agile frameworks like scrum kanban now moving on to the next topic which is cross platform cross browser testing so you have an application which which you have to roll out for different os like for windows for mac os and for different different versions so having those devices available in the organization sometimes it's very difficult for that there are different platforms like lambda test sauce labs browser stack which offers you this cross platform and cross browser testing so using which you can test on different browser versions you can test on different platforms in order to make sure your application is actually working on all the forms and browsers now coming on to the next topic which is http status code so if you are a tester you should definitely know what are the different http status code for example you log in on a page and your api is throwing 400 so you should understand what is 400 error means instead of going directly to the developer and saying it's not working you should know what is the issue what is the error you are facing so when you will go to a developer and say okay this is the status code which i am getting so he or she can also debug it quickly different http status codes are there for example the informational status code which is 1xx then successful which is 2xx then we have 3xx which is redirection for the client error there is http status code which is 4xx and then for the server error there is http status code which is 5xx so you might have seen many web applications when you try to access the page it throws you 4 not 4 right so that means it comes under this client error for example when you are logging on a page and when you are testing any api you are getting 200 response or 201 so you should understand the different status codes coming to the next topic which is database so you should have knowledge about the database also so in database the sql database and there are no sql database so you should understand what is the difference between both and why this is required for example you are registering on a page so after registration you should verify the database if this user is created or not right you can use different query combination example you registered on a page with the name anshita and then you go to a database you check in that table for example in an employee table you will check select star from the employee where the name is anshita if it is returning your response that means the data is properly stored in the database so this is also required when you are working as a software tester now moving on to the next topic which is testing techniques so being a tester you should know what are the different testing techniques like what is bdd what is tdd so bdd means behavior driven development so using this techniques team collaborate with each other so these are the different techniques which are followed when you are working in any organization so this is something which you should know what is tdd tdd means test driven development you should have understanding of these testing techniques also this is very important now moving on to the last topic from the must have skills which is chrome dev tools so being a qa this is one of the very very important topic which you should know so chrome dev tools whenever you are testing any application on the google chrome that if it is not working you should open your chrome dev tools you should see what is the issue which is exactly there you can check your console logs and you can go to the network tab and see what are the different api calls which are there i have also created a dedicated video on the chrome dev tools which i will attach in the description section you can watch that to understand more about what is chrome dev tool and what is the importance of chrome dev tool like i said there are different tabs element tab when you are doing automation in the element tab you can copy the locator of that web element then we have the console tab in which you can check the console logs we have sources tab we have network tab which is very important one of the most important tab 
from the Chrome Dev Tools is the network tab because here you see all the API calls. So when you're testing any application, you need to have understanding of all these different tools because as a tester, we cannot directly say, okay, developer, this is not working. Then what is the difference between tester and a normal user, right? You need to have some skills which will make your life easier and developer's life easier. These are the, some of the important tabs of Chrome Dev Tools. So these are all the must-have or core skills, which are non-negotiable skills. You need to have all the skills if you're planning to move to a software testing profile. Now moving on to the next phase, which is should have skills, which will help you to get a better job. And with these skill sets, you can get a job with a higher pay also because this is the need of the hour today. First topic here is automation. So what is automation? For example, if you are testing any web application and there is new, new features coming every time, right? So what you have to do as a tester, you also need to verify the new feature as well as the existing functionality, which was already there. So in order to avoid spend more time existing functionality, so what is the technique we do? We do test automation in those scenarios. Spending time manually on testing all the existing functionality, we should have an automation script written for that. So this is also testing, but we are just automating the steps we were doing manually. This is done to save our own time. For automation testing, the first thing which, which you need to learn is the programming languages. So there are many programming languages. So based on the tool, whatever you're using, based on the framework which you're using, you can pick this language and then it will be helpful for you to move to an automation profile. And some of the very famous tools or libraries or the frameworks which are used for the test automation are Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, APM. So if you're planning to automate a web application, you can choose any of these, for example, Selenium or Cypress or Playwright. In case you're planning to do a mobile automation, you can pick APM, which, which is one of the most popular choice for the mobile automation. Now moving on to the next topic, which is version control system. So version control system are basically required to share and collaborate within team. Moving on to the next topic. So these are some advanced topics, but this is something which is required in today's market. I'm not saying without this, you cannot land a job. Definitely you will get a job, but with these skills in your CV, you will get a job with a very high package and it will also give you that confidence to have a very strong technical knowledge. So you need to understand some cloud platforms, cloud platforms like what is Azure, what is GCP, what is AWS. So these are some of the very common cloud platforms. For example, in AWS, you should know what is S3 bucket, what is EC2, what is Lambda. So now moving on to the next topic, which is testing pyramid. This is the most important topic because for example, you are automating everything, API, web, end-to-end -end test. If you do not know the proper process and if you do not have the proper technique, then definitely automation testing will also not help you. For example, you have an application in, in which you have to perform API testing, you have to perform UI testing, you have to perform, there should be some unit testing also. If you're spending more time on the UI testing and less time on the unit testing, then you're wasting a lot of time. So let me show you this sample image, which I downloaded from Google. Over here, they have mentioned the unit test case is at the base level. So that means the more time you spend on the unit test case level, the less you spend on the other two phases, which is end-to-end -end testing and integration testing. So if you automate at this level, it will be quite faster as compared to if you automated this level. So for this, you need to understand the different layers of testing pyramid. So read more about the testing pyramid. And if you're joining any organization as an automation engineer, you can follow this approach and it will be really helpful for you. Moving on to the next topic, which is CI/CD. So these days, software testers are also responsible for doing the deployments. So as a software tester, you should know what is CI/CD. And some of the very famous tools which are available in the market are Jenkins, GitHub Action, GitLab. So you should have basic understanding of how to use these tools and if any error comes, how to debug that error. So as a tester, it will definitely help you. And if you are doing test automation, then also you need to understand the CI CD. For example, you have automated test case today and you have to check it every morning. For that, what we do? We schedule our test on the CI CD pipeline. For example, if you're using Jenkins or if you're using GitHub Actions, so using these, we schedule our test case at 5 a.m. Every morning, check the login functionality. It is working. Test cases will be automatically performed on the CI CD pipeline. And then after every execution, there will be some logs or results, right? And you can also further integrate with the tools like Slack or you can email the reports in those cases. But you don't need to manually do it. It will be handled automatically. Now moving on to the next topic, which is again very advanced topic, containerization platform. So there are many tools like 
docker or podman or kubernetes so as a software tester if you know this topics it will be really helpful and it will make your profile really really very strong so these are the should have skills so this road map will simplify your testing journey you can focus on the right skill and avoid any distraction so what you can do you can just start with this google page you can start writing the test cases for this google page like it might seem a very simple page but there are many many cases which you can cover in the simple google page only for example you can verify as a logged in user if you can see this gmail or if you can see all the items over here or not right and if you are a non logged in user how this page will look you can write test cases for example if you search the suggestions are coming or not if you are starting as a software tester you can start small you can focus on your learning step by step before i end this video there are very frequently asked question which is should we do certifications or not yes if you are a fresher certification will definitely help you but having a practical knowledge will definitely make your profile more stronger than having a certification if you are doing certification like istqb and you are learning what is regression testing what is mock testing and then you do not know when to apply these type of testing then that certification will not be of any help so if you are doing certification and if you are also applying that knowledge then definitely it's going to help you but only for the sake of interview or only for just a sake of mentioning in the cv then it will not be helpful then better go for creating a github profile in which you can just load your code for the automation of maybe a login page registration page that can make your profile stronger than having a certification so yeah that's all for today's video if you find this road map useful hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with anyone who is start testing career and drop a comment below if you want me to explain any of the skills in the detail i'll try to create a video on those topics Thank you for watching and focus on the right skills avoid any distractions and build a strong foundation as a tester